Hello, Gen families. Hello, Grace Church families. This is Pastor Jake here. It is the week of Thanksgiving, and we're not going to have chapel this Wednesday. And moreover, our worship has moved to all online starting this Sunday, which means we have to look for more ways to have fun and connect with one another. So I would like to offer you a very special opportunity to sing and to be excited and to get connected with God today. And uh, I actually have a special guest to introduce to you. Have you ever met my friend, Pastor Ryan? Hi, everybody. Well, I've missed you all. Welcome, Pastor Ryan. Thanks, Jake. Awesome Pastor to see Jake. You. Oh, yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so if you're watching this from home with your families, welcome. Thank you for joining us. I'm going to try and list off all of our classes because I miss seeing you guys. Welcome hurricanes. Welcome thunderbolts. Welcome toddlers. Welcome infants. Welcome readiness. Welcome sun sunshines. Welcome raindrops. Is that everyone? I think you got them all. Awesome. Hello. Well, we're going to offer a couple of songs for you to worship with. Hopefully you know them. If not, you'll know them very soon. And then we have a wonderful lesson for you from uh, Kristen Basilia and her family. All right. Shall we? Let's light it up. You might remember this one from chapel time a little while back. Sing along if you knew it. You'll know it by the end. Jesus loves me, this I, what? No, for the Bible tells me so. And we're going to play it really slow and quietly. What, what, whoa, 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 whoa. Pastor Jake, if you play it like that, all of the kids are going to fall asleep. You, you can't to, play it like that. I don't want them to fall asleep. You can't play it like that. Should we try a little something different? Yes. All right. Hmm. What if we do a little...
loves me, Jesus loves Pastor Ryan, and Jesus loves you. Now listen in for a very special lesson from Kristen. I want you to all pay great attention. I think you're going to really love it. Today we're going to talk about a story of being thankful. And it's about lepers. Does, do either one of you know what a leper is? No. A leopard? No, it's not an animal with spots. That's called a leopard. But a leper does have spots. A leper is a person who has a disease called leprosy. And this disease causes sores all over the body. And leprosy was really common in Jesus's day. And people who had this disease who had it were thought to be unclean. They were required to stay away from other people because of the fear that they might infect them with their disease. One day, Jesus was walking through a small village when he saw a group of 10 lepers. They stood far away from Jesus and called to him, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. Obviously, they knew who Jesus was and that he had the power to heal them. When Jesus heard them, he called back to the lepers and said, Go show yourself to the priest. As the lepers went on their way to see the priest, they looked at their skin and the sores were gone. Jesus had healed their disease. They were so happy that they ran up and down the street singing and dancing. Suddenly, one of them stopped and went back. Praising God with a loud voice, he threw himself at Jesus' feet and said, Thank you. Jesus said to him, Weren't there 10 who were healed? Where are the other nine? Only one out of 10 remembered to say, thank you. God does so much for us every day. He provides everything we need, food, clothing, and a place to live. Do we ever forget to say thank you? Sometimes. sometimes. Yeah. So let's stop right now and say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and so we're going to say a prayer asking God to help us remember to say thank you. Because what's this week? What are we celebrating? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. When is Thanksgiving? It's this Thursday. Tomorrow? Not tomorrow. Thursday. Today? Will you pray with me? Yes. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. You give us everything we need. You give, you give us everything we need. But we often forget to say thank you. But we often forget to say thank you. We thank you now. We thank you now. And ask you to help us. And ask you to help us. To remember to give thanks. To remember to give thanks. Every day. Every day. For all you do. For all you do. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus', In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. I am thankful for the art supplies I have. I'm thankful for my grandma. I'm thankful for church. I'm thankful for everything that you can go to. I am thankful for sports and marble sports. I am also thankful for food and macaroni and cheese. Uh, I'm also thankful for uh, for Legos and boy games. And I am also thankful for uh, uh, my parents, and last but not least, I am thankful for uh, have, having a younger brother. What are you thankful for? Uh, mommy and daddy and grandpa and papa. Um, seeing the joy on people's faces when they get their gifts. To be thankful is like to be glad, but to be glad, you have to be happy. I'm thankful for a house because um, I can uh, have some warmth and food and everything that comes in a house. Um, 
And then I'm also thankful for family because I need someone who will love me and um, take care of me. And I can also love them. I'm thankful for my pictures. I'm thankful for my cousin Madison and I'm saying and I'm as a, and I'm thankful for my family and Jesus and God. My friends, I'm thankful for my family, my mom, my dad, my brother, my grandma and grandpa. And I'm thankful for my dogs, my church, and God. Um, I'm thankful for all of you. I'm thankful for my cousin Madison, and I'm thankful for my church. I'm thankful for Jesus, and I'm thankful for all my friends and family and God. Levi, can you tell us what you're thankful for for Thanksgiving? I'm thankful for pepperoni, mom, and dad, Josiah, grandma, and grandpa. Hi everyone, it's Pastor Jake again. I really enjoyed helping to put this video together for you since we don't get to have chapel this week. And I hope you enjoyed watching it too. I guess it's my turn to say what I'm thankful for. Right now I'm really thankful for Tom and Kristen and the Basilia family for putting that video together and all the families who helped out. They're all part of Grace Church, which is just a wonderful community of people that Pastor Janelle and Pastor Glenn and I are so glad we get to be a part of. And I'm also thankful that I have a really good life. I'm thankful that I have enough food. I'm thankful that I have a great place to live. I'm thankful that we get to be part of the GEM family with Grace Daycare and Grace Readiness. I'm really thankful for Mrs. Ann and all the wonderful teachers we have here and all the staff. I'm really thankful that we get to be a part of a community like Lafayette, Indiana, where there's so many wonderful things happening. And I'm really thankful to you for watching this. Before we're finished, would you please pray with me? Dear God, Thank you for being so good and so loving and so kind to us. Thank you for taking such good care of us all the time. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our friends. Thank you for our teachers. Thank you for giving us enough food, enough of all the good things that we need. Thank you for the breath that is in our lungs. God, we love you and we need you. And we want other people to know how good you are. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful and safe and happy and healthy Thanksgiving. And I will see you here at Grace Church.